you clicked on this video, it's because you want to know how I went from this to this in just a very short 12 weeks. I'm going to give you my exact rundown from my nutrition to my training to my cardio and steps so that you can copy and paste my exact method so that you can get a great transformation too. So make sure to stick around to the end of the video where I'll lay it all out for you to screenshot and make a start straight away. No messing about, let's get into it. When it comes to getting a transformation like this, most people will look at it and think it isn't possible. I mean, some of you will think it's possible or know it's possible and what I want to display is that it isn't actually as complicated as you might think. As somebody like myself who's been coaching for the last 10 years and I've coached upwards of a thousand people in that time, you start to find the very simple and obvious ways to get results. You need the basics, you need what works, you need a calorie deficit and you need a good training plan. So let's get started with the main thing that's going to get you this transformation and that is your nutrition. Step one with your nutrition plan is to not overcomplicate it. How many times have you looked online at how to lose fat and I guarantee you've had methods show up such as carnivore diet, keto diet, intermittent fasting, 5-2, all these sorts of things that have fancy names and they just look very overwhelming and overcomplicated. You have to remember, if something has a branded name, somebody is making money from it. And I don't know about you, but we're in 2024 and everybody is trying to make money online in some way or another. And that isn't necessarily a good thing because that opens us up to a lot of different scams. If you found yourself in this situation, I want you to remove it all from your brain and have a do over. And we have to come to the proven methods that work simply because the body responds how the body responds. It isn't any different from a hundred years ago to now, a thousand years ago to now. So where do we start? How do we not overcomplicate the diet? First of all, you're going to still eat all the foods that you enjoy in moderation. I believe this is key. You have a form of 80-20 rule that you might have heard before. And I truly believe that this is what keeps you on your diet long term. If you stick to it 100%, I guarantee at some point you will definitely fall off when them cravings become a little bit too much. So you have to work out your calories and within them calories, 20% need to come from foods that you might class as bad or dirty foods, such as chocolate, crisps, burgers, pizza, all that kind of stuff. So yes, I am giving you permission to eat tasty foods during your diet. So we need to figure out how to work out our calories. Now, I've been over this quite a few times in previous videos, so I'm gonna give you a little bit of a rundown now on how I do it for my clients and how you can do it too. When I work out my client's maintenance calories so that I can work out what deficit they need to be in in order to lose fat, I have my very own nutrition calculator that I'm not gonna give away the secrets to. However, what I recommend you do is go online and find a TDEE calculator. That means your total daily energy expenditure. There are a multitude of these online that are actually very accurate because they use the proven methods to figure out maintenance calories. There are a few formulas that can be used. However, they all tend to be pretty accurate. I'll put the link to one down below in the description. If you don't want to go down this route, what you're going to have to do is figure it all out yourself which is very easy to do. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a scale, a bathroom scale, and a calorie tracker app. So first of all, get on the scale first thing in the morning after you have used the loo and find out what your body weight is. You're gonna do this every single morning and you're going to log down what weight you are. In your calorie tracker app, you are going to log every last bit of food you eat that has been weighed on the scale before eating it and see how many calories you are eating per day. Once you've got seven days worth of data from the calorie tracker app and your morning weigh-ins, then you can figure out what your maintenance calories are. For example, if you have been eating 3,000 calories every single day and your body weight has stayed pretty much the same, then you know you are maintaining weight on 3,000. So for this, what we need to do is drop 500 calories out of your diet as a starting point. I'm not going to go into all the different amounts of calories that could be your maintenance. However, whatever maintenance you find, I do recommend dropping out 500. If you do this, it will guarantee a very strong start for your diet and won't actually be too overwhelming by dropping out too many calories too fast. So you found your starting calories and let's say three to four weeks in, you found that your weight loss has stalled. What do you do? Let's keep it very simple. You're not gonna stress. You're going to look at your calorie tracker app, see how many calories you are eating and drop another 200 calories out of your diet. 
Again, this is a small enough bump in order to see immediate results and not trigger too much hunger. The biggest issue people have is making large calorie drops too often, too soon, which leads them to fail the diet pretty quickly. If you make these small adjustments to your diet every time you plateau, I guarantee your weight loss will carry on for as long as you want it to. Now, another question I get all the time is, well, surely I can't just keep removing calories out of my diet. Well, that is very true. That's why we're going to look at this next section, which is your cardio and steps. Let's get into it. Not everyone needs to do cardio when it comes to fat loss. However, I'd highly recommend you do it so that you can eat more food. Like we said, you can't always take calories out of your diet, but what you can do is increase your cardio or your general output. But this is another area of people's fitness that they do too much of too soon. So where is a good starting point for you to achieve a great transformation in 12 weeks? What I'd recommend you do is start off with a minimum of one hour per week. Within this one hour, I'd recommend you split it up into two sessions of 30 minutes and you're going to complete moderate intensity cardio. If you like, you can complete high intensity if that is your preference. However, from a recovery standpoint, I'd recommend you keep it very moderate so that you can burn a lot of calories without beating yourself up too much. This way, we can keep a lot of emphasis into our weight training and maximize our recovery so that the overall output every single day stays very high. For your step Everyone looks at the amazing 10,000 when it comes to weight loss. However, is this actually needed? I'm not so sure. It's all very individual. If you're currently doing 10,000 steps per day and you're a very active person, then yes, you're probably going to have to increase them steps at some point. So when you do increase them, I recommend giving an increase by 2,000 to start with, and that should be efficient enough to see immediate results. If you're somebody who sat down a lot at work every day and have a very sedentary lifestyle, you could be doing three, 4,000 steps per day. So for this, increase them by 2,000, and this means completing around 6,000 steps per day, not 10,000. As you plateau, you can always increase by 1,000 to 2,000 steps per day. It's all very simple and keeps the fat loss going. I would say the key part to any serious transformation isn't necessarily finding the correct starting point. It's the ability to make good decisions for yourself when fat loss stalls. So yes, we can bring calories out of the diet when that happens. Yes, we can increase steps. And yes, we can increase cardio. So what's the best method and what sort of timeline do we give each one before we make them adjustments? Well, this is all very personal. And thankfully, there's no absolute correct answer, which gives us some wiggle room. For example, let's say it's week four of your fat loss transformation and your fat loss stalls. I'd recommend starting off with a 200 calorie drop. And the next time you have to make an adjustment, well, maybe you could increase your steps. And the time you need to make an adjustment after that, there's no reason you can't increase your cardio. So you could make your adjustments on a rotation. First adjustment is calories. Second, adjustment is steps third adjustment is cardio so that makes your fourth adjustment calories fifth steps sixth cardio and if you keep following that pattern i guarantee you will see a great transformation this leaves us with your weight training now again this is all very individual and mainly comes down to the amount of time you can commit to training are you somebody that trains two days per week three days per week four or even five days per week depending on which one you are totally depends on which training split is going to be best for you so what i'm going to do right now is give you the most amount of value i can think of and give you an exact training split that will work optimally for each of those training styles so if you're training twice per week you want to train full body on your first day and full body on your second day you absolutely want to rest in between these days this keeps your training frequency at twice per week which has been shown to be optimal for muscle growth if you're training three days per week you want to train full body rest full body rest full body and then rest for the rest of the week of course this is going to change emphasis on each of these days for example day one could be a chest focus day two back focus and day three legs for if you're someone who trains four days per week i would recommend an upper lower rest upper lower split and if you're somebody who trains five days per week i would recommend upper lower rest push 
pull legs. Remember that with each of these train splits, they have two different rotations between muscle groups and allow you to put emphasis into areas that might be preferable for you. Day one could be a chest focus, like I said, day two could be a shoulder focus. So make sure that you put that focus into the weaker areas of your physique and that way you will see the most amount of development. Don't overthink your training. I think too many people are looking for the perfect training split when the reality is if you're training with the correct amount of training volume, you have the right amount of training frequency, you can't really go wrong. Just make sure that within these sessions you are training extremely hard. So the next question I get very frequently is, do I make adjustments to my training plan when things slow down? And absolutely yes, but what you don't do is change your entire training and you do not change your training split. So if you're training four days per week and you're following the upper lower rest, upper lower rest, that is just going to be best for you forever. And you do not need a complete overhaul on your training plan. So what I would do is follow the free strike rule that I implement with myself and my clients and change the exercise that are stalled on you specifically. For example, if you have an incline dumbbell press in your plan and for three weeks straight, you don't get an extra rep or any extra weight in your hands, then it's time to remove and replace that exercise. But if that exercise has stalled, the rest of your training plan might actually be progressing. So why would we change the entire training plan? We don't need to. So be very specific in your adjustments of your training plan and try to keep progressing for as many weeks as possible. So guys, if you follow this exact way to count your calories, figure out what your deficit is, get the right amount of steps, the right amount of cardio and develop your personal and most optimal training plan, I guarantee you will get the best transformation of your life. The key, like I said earlier in the video, is to make the correct adjustments. And that is where the expertise comes into play. So if you get this bit right, you will get as much progress for as long as you want. So give it a try and let me know how you get on. So guys, if you like this video and you found it informative and educational, please consider liking the video and maybe consider subscribing to the channel. We're seeing some really good growth right now. It'd be nice to see that to continue. But for now, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.